Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Palmer from Sports Test, and today I want to think about factors that are going to affect your performance. The winter is traditionally an off-season for a lot of athletes, and so it's a really good time to think about what you're going to do for the following season. However, it leaves us with loads of questions. Take the typical example of a triathlete. Maybe a triathlete's thinking about focusing on Ironman. So what do they do? Well, they'll target their goal event, Ironman maybe in July-August time. Oh, but because I'm run, run, racing an Ironman, better put a marathon into my season. As well as that, I'll maybe do some uh, 10, 25, even 50 or 100 mile time trials. Oh, but because I'm running a marathon to get there, I better put in some half marathons, and then some 10Ks, and then some 5Ks. And although we've got an ultimate goal of Ironman, the goals, the stepping stones, become very, very blurred. That same example can happen with a cyclist and a runner where they try and use other races to step towards their main goal, or they end up with far too many races in the season. Now, that's great, but what we want to think about is actually the race performance itself. And so what we want to look at is we want to look at factors affecting your performance. I use a classic example of a racing car. Each racing car is designed for the race that it's going to do. In a certain situation, the race car itself will be modified. In other situations, if I turn up with a Formula One style car to, let's say, a, a rally race, that, that car's not even going to make it across the start line. So we've got to think about that in terms of your body. Now, effectively, if we think about your body being that car, there's many different factors that we need to look at. The first, I would say, is your engine, the size of the engine, the type and the tuning of your engine. So how muscular are you? How big are you? How big are your lungs? Now, a big, strong, powerful athlete is going to work much better over a shorter distance race than maybe someone that's 100 kilos and trying to do an ultra distance race. So, can we tune your body, or is your body ideally suited to a certain distance of racing? The next factor that's going to affect that is your efficiency or your aerodynamics. So, in the same way, a big, heavy runner has got to carry more weight, they won't be as efficient, or looking at your position on your bike, how aerodynamic are you? Again, a very small athlete, great, not a problem at all, but they're not going to be able to produce the power to go very short and very hard. The next concept we need to think about with a car is the fuel, the type and the economy of that fuel. So what's your body ideally suited to do for training? And we can change this to a certain extent, but are you fueling appropriately for the event that you're doing? And how does that impact on your performances? An athlete that trains hard or trains often has to think about durability. How well do they recover between training sessions? Do they always get ill? Do they always get injured? Again, an athlete that's got a poor durability, a poor tolerance to training, might have to do a shorter distance so that they can recover better between the training sessions. Someone that's able to put in lots of volume, again, is going to be able to cope with an ultra-distance uh, style event much, much better. So again, this is going to have a major impact on your performances. Then, for a lot of athletes, the crucial one, what's their body weight? Weight has a major impact um, when you're climbing. You've got to lift your body weight, so particularly on the bike power-to-weight ratio, and again, particularly on the bike acceleration. But actually, for a runner as well, the lighter your body weight, the easier it is, the, the less energy it takes you to get around the, the event. Then, we've got environment. How do you cope with different environments? So if all of a sudden, you know, you're training through the Great British Winter, and suddenly you're off to I don't know, Ironman South Africa early season, you've got the worst of the weather to suddenly turn up in an environment that's going to be quite warm. Now you need to think about how you cope with different environments, and maybe that's something you need to factor into your training. Finally, we've got the things, the mental things. Your technique, well, that's something you can work on inside your training, but there are other things like psychological status and reaction time. How well does your brain operate? How well are you focused for different events? Can you see, um, looking at reaction time, how other people are coping around you? Can you pick out the spots on a cross-country race where you should and shouldn't be pick, putting your feet? So again, this is going to have an impact to the performances that you should ultimately be targeting. So as we've reached the um, middle of the winter, it's really time to start planning to meet your goals. Think about the factors you need and get your planning right. Now, of course, it's sports test. That's something that we do as a part of the assessments that we do. So to help you out, love to see you in the lab, but otherwise, enjoy your off-season, 
start thinking about next year and have a great year. Thank you.